These ant albatross assume that anything floating on the ocean surface is edible. For millions of years, this has been a fair assumption. But today, in some parts of the Pacific, there is more plastic than food. In nature, albatross chicks typically die from either starvation or dehydration, and that's kind of the way it's always been. Plastics help this process along by taking up room in their stomachs that would normally be reserved for food and water. So when you have an albatross chick that's got half a stomach full of plastic, that's half a stomach that can't be used. So as you kind of walk around this nesting colony, all that you really see left are just the dead ones. And um, you can see in the dead ones that have been left here for a while, they've started to decay. And inside those, you can see a lot of the plastics that have been left behind. What I think that I might do is wander around for about an hour and just pick up the noticeable, recognizable bit. So I spent about an hour this afternoon walking around, picking up all the plastic that I could find out of the dead albatross chicks and the boluses that they pop up. Um, I've kind of laid it out here based on just kind of different categories of the stuff that I found. The fishing gear is what you would expect to find. Lines get broken and floats get lost and stuff like this. So this, this type of stuff isn't quite so surprising. If you aren't a fisherman, you're probably feeling pretty good about yourself right now. You're thinking, okay, this isn't my fault. So now I'm gonna pick on the smokers. These are all lighters. And if you're a golfer, here's some golf balls, roller balls that come in your deodorant. We have all these kids' toys, a bunch of combs and brushes. So if you guys drink juice in the morning, here's a glue stick, a few glue sticks actually. Here's a little gun, which is kind of fitting for midway, I guess. Everyone knows Santa Claus. Some print cartridges. If you think about how big the albatrosses are and how big their necks are, this is about the same size. It's amazing that they can even get these things down. It can't be very comfortable for them. Every single piece of this plastic that we've pulled out of the albatross colonies has come here in an albatross. It hasn't washed up on the beach. It hasn't been dumped here by humans. It came here inside a bird. I don't, I don't think that people actually realize on a day-to-day -day basis what the impact actually is.